Welcome to Box Sciences. Today, we talk about JNK signaling pathway. CJUN N terminal protein kinase, also known as stress activated MAP kinases, are a family of serine slash threonine protein kinases in the mitogen activated protein kinase regime. The JNK MAP pathway is predominantly activated by stress stimuli and plays important roles in development, apoptosis, cell growth, inflammatory, and immune responses. SAP slash JNK is activated not only by many types of cellular stresses including changes in osmolarity, UV irradiation, heat shock, cisplatinum, adipocide, thapsigargin, and tunicomycin, but also by serum, lysophosphatidic acid, and inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor. The activated SAP-JNK phosphorylates a number of substrates including transcription factors, C-JUN, JUN-D, and ATF2, to regulate gene expression for the stress responses. Activation of SAP-JNK requires the dual phosphorylation of tyre and THR residues located in a THR pro-tyre motif in the activation loop between 7 and 8 of the kinase domain. The phosphorylation is catalyzed by the dual specificity kinases, MKK4 and MKK7, which are capable of catalyzing the phosphorylation of both THR and tyre residues. The disease groups can be divided into the following main areas, neurological, coronary, hepatobiliary, and respiratory diseases, and autoimmune, inflammatory, and cancer conditions. Remarkably, many of these conditions have mirrored the data from the JNK knockout animals, indicating the high level of consistency between the human and mouse systems. Among the major disease groups in which JNK activity is affected, at least four major tissues have been repeatedly implicated. They include neuronal, cardiac, hepatobiliary, and respiratory tissues. Among the neuronal diseases, JNK has been shown to be activated in neurons of Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, stroke, polyglutamine disease, Pick's disease corticobasal degeneration, dementia, or gyrophilic grain disease, and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, to name a few. In cardiac conditions such as coronary heart disease, heart failure, and abdominal aortic aneurysm, aortic wall samples, adipose tissues around the heart, and serum from patients displayed elevated JNK activity. Further, Liver samples from chronic HCV-infected patients and after acute liver injury, as well as samples from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, were found to have elevated JNK activity. Moreover, endobronchial tissues from asthma patients and leukocytes from pulmonary disease patients were found to have altered JNK activity. Colonic biopsies from inflammatory bowel disease and Crohn's disease, synovial tissues from rheumatoid arthritis patients, and peripheral blood mononuclear cells from autoimmune systemic lupus erythematosus and Bsitz disease patients displayed higher JNK activity. Many cancer samples, including retinoblastoma, melanoma nevi, colonic mucosa from colorectal cancer patients, and breast and ovarian cancers, exhibit elevated JNK activity. Besides, increased JNK activity has been strongly associated with obesity and type 2 diabetes. What is striking is that in almost all human disease cases, JNK activity has been shown to be upregulated, indicating that activated JNK pathway may be at least be in part causal to the disease state. Based on published disclosures, the development of JNK inhibitors appears to be focused on the optimization of small molecules that act within the kinase active site, although as we shall see later, 
Other strategies may also be viable. A description of some early JNK inhibitors has been presented. The first widely used JNK inhibitor was SB600125 Anthra 1,9CD Pyrazole 6,2H1 from Signal Pharmaceuticals slash Celgene, an ATP competitive inhibitor of JNK1, 2 and 3 with a key of 100-200 nm. At the American Chemical Society meeting in 2003, Serrano described a novel benzothiazole 2 ilacidinitol derivative JNK inhibitor, AS601245, whose characterization was later published in full. This molecule was a pan inhibitor of JNK isol forms, with potency equivalent to SB600125 but with an improved kinase selectivity profile. The first small molecule inhibitor of JNK to enter clinical trials was CC401. Steroids remain the gold standard therapy for many diseases because of their broad effect on multiple pro-inflammatory mediators. The overlap in steroid and JNK biology and cell assays has previously been noted. Furthermore it is interesting that asthmatics refractory to corticosteroid therapy were observed to have elevated AP1 and JNK activity in peripheral leukocytes. Multiple mechanisms of action have been proposed for the glucocorticoid receptor including association and competition with CJUN slash AP1 and gene promoters. More recently, it has been reported that ligated monomeric GR can bind directly to JNK and that this interaction prevents association of JNK to its upstream activators MKK4-7. Is it possible that this mechanism of action is also shared with the estrogen receptor? This finding suggests that an elasteric site, potentially at the interface of JNK-MKK binding, is therapeutically relevant. Whether this site can be targeted using a small molecule remains to be seen. Furthermore, if the inhibition of JNK signaling by glucocorticoid is physiologically relevant it confirms that JNK is an important therapeutic target for multiple inflammatory diseases and may even hold as yet unknown advantages over steroid therapy. If you need small molecular inhibitor or related services, please don't forget to contact us.